But today, solar eclipses remain this maj majestic blend of science, mystery, beauty, and magic, right? It's really cosmic magic when the universe shows us its work. The universe shows us clues to what's going on at the cosmos above it. And if we look closely enough, we get to find out some things about ourselves. Whole galaxies pass through other galaxies without ever hitting a star and no evidence of that passage remains. Now, in the far reaches of the Milky Way, there's a little damage that is ascribed to another galaxy floating through the Milky Way and not touching a single thing except that little bump at the tail end of it to tell us that, that a galaxy came through here. And the next time that's supposed to happen is Andromeda. It's on its way. Yeah, in about four and a half billion years from now, that drama will take place in one thing for sure. Those of us who are gathered here at Bloomington, Indiana, will not witness that event. And eventually the life forms that were living in the Earth's waters laid down their billions upon billions of calcified bodies and gradually built a monumental limestone surface. What weird entities gazed up at the sky, looking at this event that we will be seeing. The Obovinia had five eyes. The Yonic was the ancestor to insects and spiders. The Anomalocaris was a T-Rex of the Gabrian. It ate everything in sight. And how about the Metasprigna? Or the Gamma some of the odd critters living in these ancient seas include the Opabinia, which had five eyes and a mouth and trunk like appendage, while Hallucigenia looked like a prickly worm with legs.